According to our next guest, nearly half of Canadians say money is their main cause of stress. And let's be honest, budgets just don't work for everybody, which is why finance educator Kelly Keene has created what she is calling an anti-budget. And it's something that she uses herself twice a year. You can read about it in her new book, Talk Money to Me, and you can also learn about it right now because Kelly Keene is here to explain how this works. Happy New Year to you. Good Happy to have you here. Happy New Year, Anne-Marie. Great to be here. Uh, this is a good time of year to talk about money. It People is are looking always to, a great time. They're looking to start new habits. First of all, what is an anti-budget because we've always been told a budget is a plan and wise people budget. I do not write about anything I don't believe in. <laughs> and uh, I don't believe in diets, and I, I personally don't believe in budgets. I, I think diets don't work for most people, right? They're restrictive, you go mm. on them, you get a little bit of success, and then when you fall behind, I think it sets you further back. And the same thing, I mean, there are a few people that do really great with budgets, and you can tune out for a second mm -hmm. if you're one of those, but for the vast majority of us, they're so constrictive, right? Um, it, it, it's impossible to follow a lot of times. So, so what's an anti-budget? The anti-budget, uh, it's something that I do every year, ask my husband to do with me as well. We do it at least once a year, you can do it twice. And there's really four components to it. So the first step is super, super simple. You're just tracking what you're spending. Your um, research shows as well that if you track your calories mm -hmm. with, with your health, that actually just writing it down can actually put you in a better position within a year. Now there's no research on your financial calories, but anecdotally my readers have reported um, you know, great success with it. So you just track where your money is going. Now, you can get a little book, you can write it down. There's apps that do this for you. Okay, so let's talk about the apps for okay. a second. Now, when it comes to using an app, I love apps. Just don't use the ones that link into your bank accounts or your investment accounts. Because if you do, you will nullify the fraud protection that you have with your bank or your credit card company. Oh. Aha, a lot of people don't realize that. So. How do you track then? What you can do for the 30 day challenge is use one debit card, use one credit card with your own bank, mm -hmm. and you pretty much have all that tracking done for you, Anne Marie. Okay, yeah. so you yeah. don't have to do the old school, but I still want you to do a little bit more detective work. I want you to dig in. Okay. What are you paying for home insurance, auto insurance? What are you paying for your investment fees? Stuff like that. Get a picture of your life, okay? So that's step number one. Number two, now you're going to see the categories of what you are spending your money on. Right. So, now this is a great opportunity for you to talk with your kids, your spouse, what have you. See where the money is going. It's not about sacrifice. It's about choice and awareness. Mm. Did you realize you were spending X dollars on whatever? So you don't have to give up the latte. You don't have to give up any of those things. If you're comfortable spending. If you're comfortable, right? Where is it going? Now, the next thing is you want to times it by 12. Right. And then when you do that, I know this all sounds super simple, but when people do it with their own situation, they're like, we were spending, you know, thinking it's dollars a day on X or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. For me, it's sometimes bottled water. It's subscriptions I might not be using, things of that sort. Um, that might be money that you actually had for the RSP contribution with the deadline coming up. It might be the vacation that you thought you couldn't afford. Like, mm. that's the thing. It's, it's an exercise in awareness and also behavior change. And then at the very end of it, you see what's left over. Where could you trim the fat? Now, what I really want people to do, and there's lots of resources in the book, mm -hmm. is engage with going on an online calculator and actually figuring out, okay, we actually found that you can trim 50 bucks easily from something that you're spending that you're not even appreciating. Right. And you go online and see what could that make a difference in savings, in burning down your debt, mm -hmm. especially if you've got high interest rate credit cards. I know your viewers are watching going, 50 bucks isn't gonna make that much of a difference. Oh yeah, it does. It makes a huge difference. So this is actually fun, it's empowering, it's something you can get your family around as opposed to a budget that you've got to stick to, like a diet. I like the comparison of a diet, that's a good one. Yeah. Kelly, thanks for being here today. Exactly. A reminder, the book is called Talk Money to Me. Thanks for talking money to oh, us today. So, so great. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.